rap music has always been about storytelling. I've never seen the sense in crafting a story that isn't my own. Just rapping is not really that impressive anymore. There just has to be more, that you have to be a multi-layered artist. My father was like, if you really want to shock the world, you'll sing and rap. And I was like, you're crazy. This is like the worst idea possible. Worst. Toronto is the reason I do this. All I did was find a way to make people proud of our city. The artists from our city, their whole objective was to get out. So I just had to flip that way of thinking. All these guys, man, that are like, you gotta go to New York and make it happen. No, you don't, man. That's dead now. Do it the way The Weeknd did it. Do it the way Party Next Door did it. Do it the way I did it, you know? Do it from where you're at. What's happening now is meant to be. I don't really celebrate the wins. I don't sulk over the negative. I just keep it moving. We're in a weird time. Life is almost this ongoing forum. People can get so lost in these words displayed on the screen. Everyone just wants to chat and comment, crack jokes. Effort that's put into doubt or hate, when it's that extreme, it's the same thing as love, man. They're confused, it's not me. I'm not worried about these other rappers. I'm not competing with those guys. I already know their hand, I know their move. I study everything. I'm worried about the kid that's sitting in his house that wants to be better than me and all those guys. That's who I'm competing with now. Life's all, baby, and it's all on you. What you about to do? That's how I try to keep pushing this forward just to let that kid know that I'm not done yet. Y'all ready to do this tonight or what, man? Straight up, I go by the name of Drizzy Drake. If you have the music, that's all it takes. Present it to the world and the world will tell you if it's worth their time or not. I'm Drake. Obey your thirst.